up everyone, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jordan. I'm a first year medical student in the state of New Jersey. So right now it is Monday, right around 10 o'clock and it is exam week. So we finish up all the classes for our first block this past Friday, which means our first exam is this upcoming Friday. I don't know if other medical schools do this, but we get a full week off of class. So like we don't have any lectures or anything this whole week. All we have is our final exam on Friday and then we'll have our OSCE either Monday, Wednesday, or Thursday. So I have a completely open schedule Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And I think part of the reason my school does this is I think our blocks tend to be longer than some other schools. I mean, I know some other students who go to different schools are also first years and, you know, some started at the same time as me. They're definitely already in their second block. Um, some even started after me in their, in their second block. So the way that my school does it, we have basically two options for our blocks. It's either an eight-week course or an 11-week course. For the eight week course, we have technically seven weeks of actual like lecture and instruction. Uh, like I said, we just finished up those seven weeks this past Friday. And then the eighth week is like our exam week where we get some days off to study, uh, final exam usually on Friday, and then we'll have our OSCE um, sometime before that exam. And then for the 11 week courses, um, I think our first one is like our third course. I think we only have two 11 week courses, but we have like a midterm and a final. I don't think that we get a week off for that midterm. Um, that happens, I think, after the fifth week and then our final is, you know, during the 11th week. So yeah, like I said, I don't have much going on this week. It's just gonna be a lot of studying. Today, I got up not at my normal time. I wasn't trying to get up super early and go to the gym so I could get to lecture at 8 a.m. I kind of got out of bed around eight o'clock and then I went for a run first thing in the morning, then I went to school to study. I studied with Mackenzie and her roommate, um, just in one of our small group rooms for like four hours. So I was there from like 10 to two, I think. Then I came home, kind of chilled for an hour, and then got back to working, and then I worked for another like three hours, uh, had some dinner, then after dinner, I worked a little bit more. So I think all in all, probably got in like seven and a half for eight hours of studying which I think is a good amount. I don't, I really don't think that I, one, physically could do more or should do more. Something that I've learned in medical school especially is quality of studying is so much better than quantity. You know, you can get the same amount of studying done in two hours if you're really, really focused and doing things in an efficient way than you can if you're being, you know, on your phone the whole time and, you know, spreading stuff out over eight hours. Like I said, I still studied for like seven and a half or eight hours, so there were definitely times, especially at school, where I wasn't as focused. Um, that's why I kind of like doing a balance of studying at school with people and at home. I tend to be a little bit more efficient at home and just be able to focus on stuff that I really need to cover. But like at school today, uh, we went over one of our quizzes together and that was really helpful. So. I think having a sort of a balance is really good. Tomorrow's probably gonna be much of the same, uh, just a lot of studying. I'll probably get up around the same time and I will actually go to the gym today. Uh, today I just, I, I ran because I wanted to get some cardio and I didn't feel like lifting. And then I'll just get to grinding for the rest of the day. Something to look forward to at the end of the week, I'm going back home actually on Saturday. I was thinking about going home Friday after exam, but but I wanted to be here after the exam, you know, with my whole class to go out and have fun. So I decided to leave Saturday morning to go back. And Saturday night, I'm actually going to my alma mater to watch a football game. I worked for the football team uh, during all four years, so a pretty huge group of all my old co-workers are going to go to this game. So it's going to be really nice to see everyone. Just another chance to unwind up after my first medical school exam. But yeah, so that's it for right now. I am going to relax a little and then head to bed. So I will check in with you guys tomorrow.
what is up everyone? It is Thursday night around 11.30. Um, like I said, it was not going to be a very exciting week, uh, just a lot of studying. So I can't remember the last time I checked in, but um, basically all Tuesday and all Wednesday I just studied. Um, went to school some to study with some classmates, but pretty much just chilled here. Sort of my main process for studying has been uh, redoing all of our weekly quizzes that we've had, um, which have been helpful. I've been scoring really well on them. The only bad thing is, you know, whenever you're retaking exams, you're probably gonna remember the ones that you got wrong the first time. They tend to stick with you, so I've definitely noticed, like, sometimes I just remember the question, so I, I just know the answer instead of, like, actually having to, like, work through it. Um, but I still think that's the best way to review. I also just went through, like, my week, sort of weekly uh, study sheets that I made based on each lecture. And then, honestly, all I've really been doing for the past, like, 24 hours is using other students' uh, study guides. Some students will make one-sheeters for every single lecture, so I've been using those. Um, a lot of it is just a lot of the high yield stuff. I'm not going into a lot of detail, but it's always nice to just like get refreshers on everything. I really don't know what else I could have done, honestly. So I feel pretty content in everything that I did to prepare. Today I did have my OSCE though, um, around one o'clock. So that was honestly a little annoying um, just because some students had them on Monday and Wednesday, which I definitely think is better than the day before the exam. Just because after I finished like I wasn't really motivated to study. Like, I, I felt like, I felt good and accomplished that I got the OSCE done. I think I did pretty well. So it almost kind of like took away from the fact that I still had an exam to study for the next day. I really wish I had it on Monday so I could just get it done with at the beginning of the week and just had three days to just not worry about anything but the test. So like I said, I think the OSCE went pretty well. So uh, the way it worked was we all, we're kind of split up into different groups, and so mine was at like one o'clock today. So we went in, kind of dropped our stuff, then had like a video orientation, kind of walking us through the process. We've done a few of these before that haven't been graded or anything, so we kind of knew what to expect. But we had two standardized patient encounters. Um, both of them were 25 minutes each, um, and then we had to sort of fill out this clinical reasoning worksheet, which was just to get our sort of thought process of what we were thinking. You know, they know that we don't really know many diseases, so it's it's not like graded for correctness. And then the other thing that we had to do was make a pedigree for the patient and their family, um, including things like all the ages of their family members, uh, any medical conditions that they had. Um, so it wasn't just a normal pedigree, it had a lot of steps. So that took up a pretty significant portion of the patient interview. I'm um, just trying to get all that information, but still, I'm, I'm pretty sure that that's not like a big part of our grade. They just wanted to make sure that we were interacting with the patient in an appropriate and professional way. We weren't missing big parts of the medical interview, that kind of stuff, just because it was our first time. So I think I did pretty well. The first one, I was a little bit more nervous, but by the second one, I was, uh, I definitely got in a rhythm. It's definitely bringing me back to uh, my time as a medical assistant. Um, Although with that, it was only dermatology, so it was always super specific and, and it really just became like repetitive and like muscle memory. So it's a little bit different, um, but it's still all kind of the same process. So our test is tomorrow at 8 a.m. Like I said, it's like 11.30 right now, so I definitely need to head to bed. I am feeling pretty good about it. Um, you know, my school is pass fail. You know, we had a little reflection after our OSCE and the person leading the session was like, you guys have all excelled in your undergrad. Some of you had masters that you did great in. Like you all are smart enough and have all of the skills necessary to be successful here, which is true. I mean, a lot of us have imposter syndrome, uh, which is normal um, for a lot of different things, especially as a medical student, but we're all here for a reason we all, and we all have the capabilities to pass this test. Now, really all there is left to do is get a good night's sleep and and take this test tomorrow. So I will check in with you guys later.
just like that, I'm officially done with my first class of medical school. I didn't film any of the test day because we weren't allowed to have our phones there. Um, they only let us bring in like our laptop charger, water, and snacks, so some of us didn't even bring a backpack, including me. Overall, the exam went pretty well, all things considered. Um, you know, on an exam, there's always going to be those few that are just, I don't want to say unfair, but um, just very difficult. But then there's the few gimme ones, so. Yeah, like I said, overall I feel good. Uh, most of my classmates also felt good too. Uh, there were some where the wording of the question was very confusing. Uh, there's a, we have an option to leave like feedback on every like specific question. So there's a few that I left feedback on just kind of explaining like how there were m many ways to interpret what they were asking and that would cause you to choose a different answer. So we'll see uh, if those get like thrown out or whatever, but even if they don't, I think I'll do okay. So my exam was 122 questions. It was all multiple choice, and we had four hours and 15 minutes to complete it. I really like wrapped up um, probably two hours in uh, through like my first pass of everything. Uh, and then I went back and like checked ones that I was iffy on. Um, so I left in about three hours. There was still, I want to say like half of our class there by the time I left. I'm sure some people stayed for the whole time, but I just didn't think I needed it. We don't actually get our scores back for like three or four weeks. Um, they wait until they kind of like calculate our full grade for the course, which is just pass fail, um, like I've mentioned. In earlier videos, um, my school is pass fail for the preclinical curriculum, which is very normal nowadays. But it still sucks that it takes three to four weeks to know if you passed or not. You know, we're gonna be halfway through our next class before like we actually know if we passed the class. My next class is anatomy, so that's it's gonna be fun, but it's gonna be a lot more work. Um, just looking over our schedule for these next like eight weeks. There's a lot more like required class time just because we still have a lot of lectures but now we have like anatomy lab on top of it. Um, so it's just gonna be a lot more time consuming. Uh, this is historically one of the hardest classes. I mean, any medical student knows that anatomy is hard. Um, even if you like it, like I, I think I will enjoy the content because I wanna be a surgeon, um, but it's gonna be hard. Uh, there's no way around that, but uh, I, think it'll be better just because the content will be a lot more exciting than all the basic science stuff that we did for the past eight weeks. So uh, plan for the rest of the day, I am going to edit my video coming out Sunday just completely like I need to get it done. Um, probably will upload it and just uh, set it for a Sunday release date just because just because I'm going home tomorrow and I know I'm gonna have absolutely no time this weekend to edit anything or upload so I need to get that done and then we will probably go out um, with much of my classmates. My roommate Connor's girlfriend uh, is coming in town from Seattle so that's exciting. I think he already left to go pick her up from the airport. So that'll be fun. Um, so it'll be very nice to go out with my classmates and just unwind and celebrate finishing our first course. So that is it for right now. I will check in with you guys later. So what is up everyone? It is Sunday night and I'm f back in New Jersey. Uh, so I had a very fun weekend after finishing the exam. I went out Friday with a bunch of classmates. We went to uh, one classmate's place for a pregame and then we all went out to Hoboken. Uh, really great time. A lot of our classmates were there. Um, it's always so fun to go out with them, especially after a stressful thing like an exam. Then Saturday morning got up and I left around 11 to drive back to Maryland. Took me about like three and a half hours, which is pretty normal if there's no traffic. 
and then pretty much got home, changed, and then went to University of Maryland for the football game. I tailgated with a bunch of my old co-workers. We all worked for the football team and then I watched the game with them. Afterwards, we went in the locker room and saw our old boss and saw some of the players um, and just kind of hung around the new facility. All four years I was there, um, we were in like the old facility while the new one was being built. I think a year after I graduated is when like they fully moved in there. So uh, I've seen it before, but it's always nice like going in there and seeing how nice it is. Um, definitely wish I had it when I was working there. So yeah, it was really nice to see all my old coworkers, my old boss. Uh, and then a lot of us went out to a bar afterwards. It was already very late, so we didn't stay very long. But we wanted to go because we knew a bunch of players were there, so we could see them. Um, and then I was able to hang out with my good friend Noah, who I haven't seen since I moved up here. And then Sunday, I uh, got up and went to brunch with my family. Got to see my grandparents and everything, so that was great. And then I drove back around 4 o'clock, so got here around like 7.30 or 8. And then have been prepping for this next week. This next block is anatomy, and a lot of the upperclassmen, especially the M2s, are kind of warning us that, you know, this class is notoriously hard for a lot of medical students. Anatomy is a very complex subject. It's just so much information to learn in a short amount of time. A lot of the upperclassmen have been sharing a lot of resources and stuff, so that's nice at least. Um, the only bad thing is we are going to be in school a lot more, just time-wise. In our first class, it was very rare that we would be there past like one o'clock, um, but just this first week, I'm pretty sure every single day we're there past one. Like, I think Wednesday I'm there until almost six one of the days. So uh, it's, it's gonna be a lot more time consuming and we're gonna have to study more because it's more information. So uh, yeah, we, we all know that we are gonna have a lot less free time, but I am excited because I really like anatomy. I, think I want to do some kind of surgery so it'll probably be a lot more interesting to me even though it is a lot more information. I've also taken anatomy before so hopefully a lot of it will be familiar. Um, I know we did not go into the kind of detail in undergrad that we will in med school but it'll still be nice to have like sort of a foundation. But yeah that's really gonna do it. I need to go do some pre-work to prep for tomorrow because we're learning back anatomy. So I got some videos I have to watch. But if you enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like below and subscribe to the channel if you want to see videos like this in the future. Thanks and I'll see you in the next one.